Hey everybody uh, at YouTube, this is Glock Ninja, and uh, it's that time of the year, folks, where, you know, cell phone contracts come to an end and new ones begin. Well, I've decided to stay with Verizon, and it was uh, somewhat of a hard choice to make and somewhat of an easy choice to make. Easy in the sense that I believe Verizon Wireless has probably the best cell phone service coverage of all cell phone companies it has the best cell phone coverage I rarely ever ever drop a phone call or anything like that the negative side of Verizon is that they rarely ever get the best phones usually companies like AT&T get the iPhone and uh, Blackberry Bold and things like that and the better Samsung phones go to seems like uh, Sprint and the other companies like Singular and T-Mobile but anyway Verizon uh, I decided to stay with them and um, I renewed the contract and this is a semi unboxing of things uh, that are in this bag let's start with the minor stuff here is the snap-on covers uh, for a particular phone that I will get into in a minute as you can see that it's already been unboxed and installed on the phone here is a Bluetooth made by Planet Plantronics okay and this Bluetooth was actually free for renewing my contract oh well uh, and getting uh, a phone added to the contract here is a cigarette power adapter for one of the phones and now let's get into the phones my son for my son I have the Verizon uh, intensity by Samsung okay and it's a slide out keyboard text messaging phone basically and here's the phone pretty simple phone with a nice QWERTY keyboard QWERTY keyboard uh, feels pretty decent nice handsome phone easy to push button uh, easy push button for the numbers and so on got a camera built in not a bad phone okay the next phone oh also we have the point mobile screen protector okay that to the side the next phone was Verizon Wireless LG chocolate touch and this phone is for my wife it comes with uh, the 25 megabyte uh, data package which is ten dollars a month she can browse the internet for a limited amount of time per month and here is the actual phone now doesn't have a corded keyboard or slide out keyboard or anything like that it's all touch screen it feels pretty good in the hands um, tried it out at the store the touch screen is pretty responsive looks pretty nice it does all the basic multimedia functions like mp3 player photographs store pictures music uh, some videos and such it's bluetooth compatible Let's go on to the next phone, and this is the phone for me, and uh, it was decided, it was an easy decision, it was one of the harder decisions to make when I uh, moved over to, I mean, stayed, decided to stay with Verizon, and that was the Droid, Motorola Droid phone, okay and this is the phone that I got for myself instead of the iPhone 
and uh, here is the actual phone I have the protective cover on it and the protective screen cover also on it let's start this bad boy up I use the navigation GPS uh, part of the phone to navigate home with and it gave me turn by turn directions it named all of the streets that I, streets that I were supposed to turn into it gave me distance to t uh, the location where I was supposed to turn at it worked just like a GPS even better with of course the fact that it uh, mentions each street by name so it was a much easier to follow um, it has basically all the applications that you would essentially use uh, in a smartphone that the iPhone has I know that the iPhone has a lot more applications in the uh, in their uh, realm but uh, for functionality and practicality I think the droid uh, matches the iPhone far as in the apps for practicality and functionality and the fact that uh, this droid phone here in particular has the free GPS navigation built into it is what won me over actually out of all the applications that I would use the most I think I would be using that application the most and um, uh, it would serve me best so that is the main reason I chose to go with the Android phone and the fact that uh, this is only twenty nine dollars a month for the data package unlimited web browsing and um, the fact that it only is only adds ten dollars or more a month for the extra line to my regular cell phone service um, I found that this was the more economical and more feasible way to go than the iPhone the iPhone alone would have cost me ninety nine dollars a month and that's not including the other two phones that I would have to have gotten for my wife and my son so it would not have been uh, economical for me to go with the iPhone um, right now I've uh, so far I've played with the keys and some of the applications um, and such I found this to be a pretty decent uh, phone touch screen phone um, the keys uh, you get it takes a little while to get used to I made quite a few mistakes typing in uh, my password setting up my gmail account and all that uh, but uh, I'm sure once I'm used to the keys it'll get better I think uh, I think the main complaint about this phone is the keys and that the keys are too flat and they are hard to uh, maneuver around and accurately punch in the right keys um, I think they could have done better by raising the keys a little bit or making it a little bit more of a um, I don't know less I guess less flat and if they raised it a little bit more so you could actually touch individual keys instead of accidentally pushing the key two or three keys at a time uh, you know, the key, the key, the key sides are not the problem. Um, although they are very small, I think if they just had raised the middle parts a little bit, uh, it would be less uh, problematic. When you press, try to press up a certain key, you don't accidentally press the wrong key or the key next to it. But aside from that lovely phone uh, GPS navigation works great on it I have yet to test the camera and the video quality on it and the other functionality stay tuned for a full review of this phone once I get acquainted with all of the functionalities okay and uh, I think that's it what else is in the bag let's see that's it so Thanks for watching, guys.